Welcome ladies and gentlemen to this new tutorial today. We are installing MySQL via Homebrew. So if you want to know what is Homebrew all about, you can watch my other video. But today we're just installing Homebrew with MySQL. So visit the website Homebrew, uh, brew.sh, copy and paste this path paste it inside of your uh, terminal and wait for the installation process type in your computer password and if you're asked uh, to install Xcode do so because otherwise you're not able to use Homebrew so now Brew is installed we check it with Brew version and it says Homebrew version 0.9.9 uh, .9 .9. it's perfectly fine and instead of uh, visiting the website from MySQL and downloading their package here, we simply say brew install MySQL. That's all we have to do. And MySQL will be installed on your computer. And there are many other packages out there which you can install the same way. So let's hit enter and wait. So now we're back and uh, MySQL is installed. As we, you see, uh, Homebrew tells you that uh, they installed MySQL database without a root password. Uh, the secured, uh, we can run MySQL secure installation. To connect, we can say MySQL slash U root. Uh, to launch uh, the service, we can say mysql.server.start um, yeah so let's run the secure installation check it out if we can do it from our home directory and it says yeah so now we can enter a password for our root user so type in your uh, password arrow can't connect okay so uh, we have to uh, start the server first, I guess. MySQL server start starting the server success, and now we say MySQL secure uh, install installation. We say root. Now uh, we can uh, say if we want a validate password plugin. I say no because uh, uh, I don't need it. Uh, change the password for root. Yes. New password. And remove any anonymous user. We say yes. Uh, disallow uh, root login remotely. We can say yes, but I don't know. It's how you want it, you can disable it afterwards. Remove test database uh, and access to it, we say yes. Reload privileges table now, yes. All done. So let's check it out if I can log in with mysql slash u dash u, it's for user, root dash p for password. And now I can enter the password. This is not the computer password, this is the password for your root user from MySQL. So let's hit enter and as you see, welcome to the MySQL monitor and we're inside of our MySQL database. We can use MySQL for example, uh, reading information and database changed. Perfect. That's all you need to know. Now you have a uh, MySQL installed with home, via Homebrew. We have uh, uh, set our root user and root password, and we can connect to our. Uh, we can start MySQL and end MySQL. To exit, simply type exit, and we're back on our terminal again. And to shut down the MySQL server, we say MySQL server stop. So, if you have problems with uh, the MySQL commands, it says it's not found or something like this, you have to visit uh, a fold, uh, 
your bash profile i type in uh, sudo nano and uh, dot bash profile type in your computer password and inside of here you can export your path and since homebrew installs all of your packages into seller in the user local seller folder uh, we have to uh, tell our computer the bin folder to mysql so maybe that your uh, commands uh, so that you can execute all the executables from mysql so simply say export your path and then user local seller mysql the version of mysql and then bin and the path and that's all and then you can use uh, mysql so i exit this clear this and start again my mysql server uh, mysql server start and it's starting mysql perfect mysql dash u root dash p root i'm inside of uh, the mysql monitor i exit with exit and i can shut down mysql dot server stop and that's all the commands you need to know so if you like this video don't forget to give me thumbs up to hit the subscribe button and to share this video all over the internet we'll see us in the next video bye